for our blog, it's Victoria Arnstein. I hope you're doing well today. And if you're in a bit of a funk and you're feeling like you can't get out of it, let me explain what is very good for you to get out of it. So you want to get momentum. Momentum is key to getting out of any type of, you know, lull or funk that you're in. And you really need to just take that first step. That's it. And then things start rolling things start to move uh, in anything you do you'll see that once you get the ball rolling you'll start to get pick up that energy and you know you're on your way and uh, you become more productive find out what your productivity is your level is like at what time of day are you most productive if it's not the morning don't do your most important things in the morning if it is the morning, then start getting ready to get done whatever you need to get done because that's when you're most energetic. That's when you have the most energy. That's when things are just going to be more, um, you know, involved. You want to double down on the things that you know how to do. You want to be able to get things uh, done at a certain time and then you can relax. And I think that the most important thing is to feel like you've done something anything even if it's just one thing that day I remember my mother-in-law telling me when I was overwhelmed I had two children in one year yes it was on purpose and I remember being so overwhelmed she said just do one thing I'm really I'm talking to everybody but I, I can't stress or encourage it enough to new moms out there um, when I was studying for finals I remember high school finals were just so daunting and overwhelming for me and I just needed to go for a quick bike ride and just get out of my own head. Exercise would do that, a walk, whatever it, it is need to be done, you need to get out and then you could come back and think more clearly. So momentum, take a break, very important. People stand in front of their computers or sit in front of their computers all day long and they don't take that break. It's very hard, you get sucked in and you go on to the next and you go on to the next. Also, when you're looking in your phone, excuse me, you, you tend to get into too many things. You know, you're dipping into too many pots, Facebook, Instagram, you want to answer somebody back, you don't want to be rude. I get it, but get set that aside. Set Facebook aside for a certain hour in your life or uh, if you're waiting in a waiting room or something and you don't want to read the material they have and they have Wi-Fi, you, you could look at that then. Don't let it cut into your day because your day is so precious. Your day is so fleeting. Your life is so fleeting. Treat it like it's a gift that you're going to open. If you get a gift, do you want to wait to open the gift? Or just, you can't wait to open your gift. Every day is a gift. You, uh, If somebody were in the hospital, they would want to trade places with you. Go visit someone in the hospital. Go visit the hospital. Just walk down the aisles and see how much they would replace their lives with you right now. What could you do with your life today that's gonna to help you improve? It's gonna help you help someone else? That's gonna help you just be a better person? What, what could you do to do that? Momentum, momentum, just pick up the pace. You might be a little slower in the morning, that's okay. Get out of your funk with an exercise, that'll wake you up. Breathing, whatever it needs to be done. Visualize. This is very important. Visualize what is already going to be done by making it like you've done it already. Go through those motions in your head. It's gotten me through so many things. If you, I don't even care if you have talked to, to yourself. Literally visualize where you're going and what you're doing and how you're doing it. And you're just retracing the steps when you do it. It is so key in my life. It has helped me so much in my life. So that's something that you're doing also. You're visualizing and that's that's an accomplishment right there. Just getting started with that visual is a great accomplishment. Sit, Wake up in your bed, sit in your bed and literally stare at the ceiling and visualize in your mind's eye what it is you're going to be doing even for the first hour of the day. And if it switches up, be flexible. Be aware that you're going to be flexible, that you can if the weather permits and you can't do certain things, 
you know, then, then you could actually have something in your head that's going to make you feel like, okay, I have two different options or three different options. I could do one, two, or three, depending on the weather, depending on the schedule that you have, depending on certain things in your life, some things are going to come up. Don't get so down on that. If you can't exercise in the morning that day, you'll exercise some point that night or that's the day you'll take off. But don't fret. I used to fret about every single day I didn't exercise. There's got to be a lifestyle where you just don't do that because it's not worth it in the end. It's not worth getting upset over. It really isn't. It's just going to add more stress. And that takes away the purpose altogether uh, when it comes to exercise. You want to exercise to relieve stress. And then you get the stress because you're not exercising. Okay. Do, you, do you see what I'm saying? So momentum is key. Get yourself out there. Visualize and improve and try to find the hour upon the day that you are most energetic some people are more energetic at night it happens some people are just night people and that's when they should do the most productivity in my opinion all right you can do what you want i hope you got something out of it and uh take care everyone